Hi and welcome to this tutorial video on how to install SQL Server Express and SQL Server Management Studio. So both of these tools we're going to be using in some later tutorial series that I'm about to release. Uh, so I'm just going over how to get a basic install of these uh, pieces of software because we'll just be using them very little in the applications. Uh, but we will need a database set up and the knowledge of how to create a table and the ability to create a table and write to the database. So this is what we're going to be doing on this video. We're going to be installing SQL Server Express and SQL Server Management Studio. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first place we are going to want to go is the SQL Server downloads. Now I will be posting a link to this page in the description down below, as well as the SQL Server Management Studio uh, download page. I will be posting a link to that in uh, the description down below as well. So let's start with the SQL Server Express. We are going to come down here and uh, let me just make sure you guys can actually see it. So there is a developer version that you can use as well, um, which is only used for testing purposes, which in theory we could do in this one. Um, but if you did want to build some production applications for free um, with a very limited um, variety of like tools and options as far as SQL installations go and SQL databases go, uh, the Express will be the best option for you. So we are actually going to be using Express in this video. So all you're going to want to do is click the download now button and that will download a file. And then we are going to want to uh, double click on that installation file. You should get this uh, security prompt potentially. We are just going to run. Now, um, if you uncheck this in the past, you will not see this, but we're just going to click on run. And we are going to get this pop up, which is going to say, do we want a basic custom or just to download the media? We are actually going to go ahead and just do a basic installation here. And we are just going to accept these terms and conditions. And I'm going to be leaving the install location at the default. You can change this if you have multiple drives. Uh, you can definitely install this on your E drive or your D drive, um, depending on how your server configuration is set up. So we are going to be installing this. Now this does uh, sometimes take quite a bit of time. So I will leave this go and I will join you guys back when it is all done. All right, so the install is almost fully complete here. So it is actually fully complete. So we, it does give you um, a connection string, which uh, we will probably need a little bit later, but I'll be showing you guys how to do this in PowerShell when we're actually interacting with the databases. So you don't need to note that down. Um, what you will note is the SQL administrator is by default, the administrator of your computer. Uh, so in my case, it's the administrator account uh, for the jacked domain. Uh, so that's pretty much it. And then we do have um, this button here, which you guys can actually see um, called install SSSMS, uh, SSMS, which is the SQL Server Management Studio. So if you guys don't click on the link down below in the description, after you guys install SQL Server Express, just click on this and that will actually open up the web page uh, in which you would need to install SQL Server Management Studio. Um, so it's fairly easy uh, to do. Um, or you can just come here and click on this link. And then once you have that, uh, we can actually just close this and we can just say yes to that. So once you have that downloaded, you will have this one, which is a much bigger download. It's about almost 700 megabytes. Um, we will just double click on this and that will open up a another prompt like this to run. So we will just run that again. And then this one will set up here. So um, kind of, again, it's a very basic install. Um, it's just asking us where we want to install it. Once again, I am leaving it as the default location. If you guys have any other uh, drives that you guys want to install it on, again, the D or the E drive or any other letter that you may have assigned your drive, you can install it there. But we are just going to go ahead and click on install here. And it's basically going to do its thing. Now, this one also does take quite a bit of time. Um, so once again, I will see you guys when it is all complete. 
All right, so we are back now. So the install is fully complete. So we're just going to click on close here. Now, typically, um, your SQL Server Management Studio might prompt you to restart after the install. If you didn't have the .NET Framework installed, then it needed to install that as well. I already had the .NET Framework installed beforehand. It's not something that you need to do, um, but just be aware that if you get prompted to restart after the SQL Server Management Studio, um, it is actually quite normal if you're prompted to restart after that installation. So after you have both of those installed, you will notice in your start menu that you will have the Microsoft SQL Server 2019 and Microsoft SQL Server Tools 18. So we are gonna to wanna to go in the Microsoft SQL Server Tools 18, and there will be something there called Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18. Now that is what you are gonna to wanna to open. Now this is what's going to let you create your databases, um, create tables, um, you could do it without this. Um, it would just make it a little bit more complicated and convoluted um, doing it through the SQL command prompt, in my opinion. Um, so for these YouTube tutorial videos, I will be doing uh, pretty much everything through the SQL Server Management Studio, um, setting up the databases that way. Um, so once we actually get to those tutorial series where we need to create the databases and the tables, you will see me go into here. Um, and then we will integrate that with a PowerShell script. Uh, so some of the things we'll be looking at is mostly like how to read from a database in PowerShell, how to insert into a database in PowerShell, how to update, delete. Um, and we'll also be creating a little logging module. Um, so it's something that I've kind of mentioned in a few videos of other bigger scripts that we've written is kind of like we're logging to like a file, but you could log this to a, a database server. Uh, so what we're going to be building is we're going to be building a logging module. Uh, now, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to integrate that logging module with REST PS. If you guys do want to see that, let me know down in the comments below and I will make that extra video of we'll make the module and then we'll kind of integrate it with REST PS to be able to just kind of call it from an API in, and then technically we could use that with Python, C Sharp, um, JavaScript, PowerShell, or any other languages. Whereas if we only stick to making the module, um, we're limited to PowerShell, of course. Um, so there are a lot of options. I will leave that question for the comments down below. So feel free to answer that. If you liked this video, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified when those next videos come out. And I will see you on the next video.